Hi, good morning everybody. This is Stuart from Vegan Beach. I just thought I'd quickly share with you uh, something really enjoyable that I'm about, about to put together. It's a papaya, banana and date smoothie. So this is a three part video. I'm going to show you uh, the first section is the ingredients. So this is a quite a large papaya that I've purchased here. I'm in tropical uh, Queensland, Australia. So we can get really good uh, juicy uh, fresh ripe fruit here all year round normally so it's a pretty good environment to be in if you're not in that environment you, maybe you can uh, import uh, your produce um, or try a fresh food market I've got um, five Cavendish bananas the medium size as you can see by this one here it's um, it's getting to the point where it can be eaten it's quite ripe and I've got a small uh, amount of pitted dates so that's about half a cup to a cup full of pitted dates so I'm not going to use the full papaya I'm going to use about half of that uh, put in four or five bananas and the dates and this is the blender here it's my little trusty uh, Kenwood blender okay that's about uh, well it takes about 30 ounces of food and water so what I'm going to do is put in these three ingredients and uh, put them in the blender and then I'll get back to you I just thought I'd quickly share with you as well uh, when, when you cut the papaya, as you saw the papaya just a few seconds ago, here it is cut in half. So what I've done is I've taken out the seeds with a spoon. Just use a spoon, scoop out the seeds from the papaya. And there you have, be careful not to um, take out too much of the inside because that's the nice sweet juicy part. So that's the papaya as it looks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the spoon here and I'm going to spoon the contents of that papaya into my blender so I'll be back with you in a little little sec once that's done okay now here's the contents of the, of the papaya so that was the papaya there that's the other half over here so I've taken this half and I've scooped out using the spoon the contents of the papaya and I've put it in my blender now it's a reasonably small blender so so far it's about halfway full of papaya but that's very soft and that'll blend up really easy so what I'm now about to do is peel probably four of those bananas and uh, I'm going to put those in this blender. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're back and I've put in all of the five bananas. As you can see from the side, you've got the papaya in the bottom. Now I did that because it's better to have the, uh, the softest and most water content fruit in first. It just makes blending a lot easier. Then I've got the bananas, they're ripe bananas, uh, five medium sized ripe Cavendish bananas. Now I've got the dates, so I'll just grab those dates and I'll put them in the top of this uh, blender cup. And there's the blender lid which I'll put on top and screw that on so that just goes on top once I've put the dates in. Um, doing this by hand here, it screws on top. And then I'll just place that in the blender and put it on pulse for about a minute. So uh, I'll go and do that. See you in a second. By the way, this is me putting the dates in. So I just grab the dates, place them in the top here. So that's about half a cup of dates. Put them in the top. Put on your um, lid. So there's the dates in there. I'll show you from the side. Put on the lid. And I'll take that into the kitchen. And I'll blend it up and I'll be back. Okay, so now before I blend it, I'll just sort of quickly show you. I put in probably between 10 and 15 ounces of water. You, you might be able to see just here is the water. So I filled up the blender about a third full of water. That's because it's got a lot of papaya in it and it's got the banana and the dates. Now the dates, obviously they're not as high water content as the papaya or the banana. That's why, why I put them in last. But um, with that amount of water, that'll blend up into a nice thick smoothie. And if I want to add more water, I can add more water later. So uh, add in whatever you like, whether it's uh, filtered water or um, coconut water. So this is just, uh, that's boiled water. I don't have the filtered uh, system on tap right at the moment, but um, it's good enough for, for this uh, for this smoothie. So I'm going to go and blend it up now and I'll, I'll come back and show you the uh, finished result. Okay, we're back. So this has been on blend for about a minute on the pulse. And... Uh, there's the lid. Just put that down to show you the smoothie. So that's the smoothie there. Quite thick. 
So um, if you use a slightly bigger blender, you could probably have uh, add, could have added more water to this. I could probably add, as you can see, another two inches of water there. That's probably what uh, ten to fifteen ounces of water on top of this to make it a little bit thinner. And um, one thing I wanted to show you, if you wanted to spice it up a little, you could add some uh, vanilla bean powder. Uh, that's a brand we have in Australia called Honest to Goodness, so you could add a small half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of that, and uh, just to give it a vanilla, vanilla flavor, but you've already got the dates in there, but if you wanted to add the vanilla, you could. Another thing you could add here is the uh, ground cinnamon. This is a Woolworths Select brand from Australia, but I mean, ground cinnamon is ground cinnamon. If you can't buy it in the ground form, like this is just already ground for me, uh, you could get the vanilla, sorry, the uh, cinnamon sticks and grind them up yourself. You could add in some, uh, what are these, blueberries. So this is a small punnet. I, I mean, because I've already got so many uh, ingredients in this already, I probably won't add the blueberries in on top of that, but uh, it's an option. Here's a salad mix. If you want to make it into a green smoothie, just throw in some of these greens. Now, this is a good option. I mean, this is a good way to get your greens in. These are uh, Macro Organic, another Woolworths brand here in Australia. Um, it's just a mix of different ingredients. So that's a good option. And I've got another one here. It's called uh, Cooler Bar Organic, Organic Gourmet Salad with Spinach, Chard, Kale, and uh, Mizuna. So try that one out if you haven't already tried it. So it's just throw in half or a full one of those uh, into your smoothie to turn into a green smoothie. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any comments, please put that down in the uh, comment section below. Please click the, uh, the little red subscribe button to see more of my videos. And click like if you enjoyed it. Again, thank you and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.